Okay. March 10th, State of Meeting of the Beaver Falls City Council will come to order. Everybody rise, please. We will have an invocation by Council Member Doug Carson, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you for bringing us here tonight. We pray that uh, you'd um, help us to conduct business that would be good for the citizens who live in the city. Uh, we um, pray especially for our mayor and pray that uh, you'd uh, bring him back to us safely. Uh, and uh, again, we just ask that you would watch over all those who are employed uh, by the city. Uh, we think particularly of those in our police department and uh, fire department. We thank you for them and thank you for all the others who work uh, on behalf of the city. And now uh, bless the meeting uh, that we have tonight. In the name of Christ I pray. Amen. Amen. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. <coughs> this is Dorich. May I have a roll call, please? Yes, sir. Mr. Carson. Here. Mr. Chapetta. Mr. Kunzelman. Here. Mr. Kirkland. Here. Mayor Clay. <coughs> Are there any citizens' comments on the agenda? If you don't have agenda, they're underneath the light switch back there. Are there any comments <coughs> on the agenda? <coughs> I do. Uh, on the agenda? No, on the agenda. Okay, I'll get you at citizens' comments. Then. Thanks, George. <coughs> So the first item on our agenda this evening is increased planning zoning fees. And our solicitor will discuss that with us. Uh, thank you, Councilman Councilman. So the question has come before me um, to review how it is that, or what is the procedure for City Council to consider the different fees that you're charging in the planning and the zoning area? And it would appear from um, a review of invoices that we receive associated with different hearings um, that we need to look at those administrative fees to defray the costs of what the city's doing. So um, I would simply ask for someone on council to move to allow my office along with the code office and, and the treasurer's office to figure out how those fees should be increased and changed um, according to the municipal planning code as well as the ordinances that you have for your fees. So moved. Second. Okay, I have a motion with a second. Are there any questions or comments on the motion? Okay. Hearing none, may I have roll call please? Carson. Yes. Chapetta. Yes. Funcelman. Yes. Darkland. Yes. Motion carried. <clears throat> Next item on the agenda, Resolution 1548, approving a list of general, ex general fund expenditures. Resolution 1548 is a resolution of the Council of the City of Beaver Falls, approving the list of general fund expenditures of transactions in the amount of $121,096. I make a motion that we accept as read. $121,096. Second. Okay. A motion with a second that we pay the bills um, through resolution 1548. Are there any questions or comments on the motion? None. May I have roll call, please? Carson. Yes. Chitana. Yeah. Prince Yes. Carson. Yes, ma'am. Next item on the agenda is a repository purchase of 1916 11th uh, Street, Beaver Falls. Um, a letter was submitted from Michelle Weiss, who is wanting to purchase 916 11th Street from the repository, would like to fix it up and make it a permanent residence for her family and herself. There are no uh, property maintenance liens on the property. She has asked for tax exoneration prior to 2020. <coughs> Is Mrs. Weiss here this evening? No, I'm here for her. You're here for her? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Does the council have any questions? I have an image on the screen if anybody wants to take a look as well. 
Is that one of the, is that the proper house up here, Julie? Is that is it one of the houses yeah. you represent? It's the one yeah. 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 Okay. And I'm sorry, just for record, sir, can you state your name and address? Brian Chambers, Part Forty, Pleasant Hill Homes, yep. Beaver Falls. Okay. It is the <coughs> house right there at the corner, right? Yes. It's right. to the left That's of the right. alley. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. Does council have any questions? I have no problem with it. Uh, I make a motion that we allow it to happen. So what's the what's the before I second that? What's sort of your time frame here? What are you thinking? Group me here for the end of the year. You're being entered and yeah, up to code and up to date, moved in and everything. By the end of the calendar year, yeah, is that what you're looking? Yes, sir. Yeah. <coughs> yep. Okay, I'll second. Yes. Second. Okay. I'm catching up. <laughs> I have a motion with a second. Are there any questions or comments on the motion? None. May I roll call, please? Carson. Yes. Geppetto. Yeah. Huntsman. Yes. Motion <coughs> carries. Yes. Congratulations. Next item on the agenda is a <coughs> depository, depository purchase, 917 and 919 11th Street. Um, also, this was a letter submitted by Michelle Weiss, who is purchased, wanting to purchase 917, 919 11th Street. There are no property maintenance liens. There is possibly a county lien that she was informed of because the structure was demolished by the county through CDBG in 2015. She is also asking for tax exoneration prior to 2020. And she wants to use uh, its vacant lot. She wants to use it as a yard for her children to play in. Okay, what's Where? council's wishes? Where is that? It's across the street from the house. Oh, that's across the yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the empty lot? Mm -hmm. Which house is it? It's across the street from the house that she wants to buy. Oh, across the street from the house. Mm -hmm. okay. So well, what's so the amount of the lien that could be there? Do you have any idea? Um, it's a county lien. I don't so, know if they Do you have any idea <coughs> the what they're saying? No. I'm looking to see. Because if it's for a house demolition, that's going to be a little change each year that goes down though oh it does the yeah if someone buys it in the first it. year they're, they're responsible for, for the full yeah but then each year that, that it lead, reduces yes that's so that. probably by now it's i not. i think it's five years then the lien is wiped out but i'm not 100 percent yeah, sure but in the first page here a c d g b in 2015 so we're coming close to the five years yeah uh, okay it doesn't give me a date but Great. What's council's wishes on this? I move that we approve the repository purchase of 917 and 919 up 11th Street. I'll second that also. Okay, motion on the floor with a second. Questions or comments on the motion? Hearing none, roll call please. Carson. Yes. Geppetto. Yes. Pencilman. Yes. <coughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, motion carried. A lot of Congratulations. Work Okay, next item on the agenda, safety committee for a Marcellus development groundbreaking street tour. Uh, yes, the safety committee has received an email from Renee Sewer about her groundbreaking on March 20th and wanting to close several of the streets um, around her lot where they're going to do the uh, digging. So um, we had met with her and a couple of the other um, people, I guess, that are helping her do this, and the um, agreement between everyone was to have 14th Street closed from 7th Avenue to 6th Avenue, and then the alley um, from 14th Street to 15th Street. This is going to be from 4 to 7. Um, she had talked about having food trucks along 14th Street, but then this morning at the staff meeting, um, there was something brought up about them being there on uh, an uneven street, and I did not speak to um, 
Paula, I Kristen. Today. I touched base with Kristen just because mm-hmm. I was talking to her, and she said that Dave, the Smoke and Daves, can park at the lower end of 14th Street, and it'll be fine. So they have him on that side, and then you know, I think a couple. of I can read it. What she said. So they're gonna stay on 14th Street they are on the well side. side. Yeah, they don't need to move. Oh, okay, yeah. good. I was like, that's the long and short of it. Okay, and then they're going to um, erect a tent in the Wells parking lot. So everything that I just said is what the safety the committee is recommending. Or the uneven cavities. So it's council's wishes on yeah. on this. I move that we approve uh, the request. Did the sa- safety committee approves it, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I follow follow the recommendation of the safety <coughs> committee and approve. And the chief of police was aware of all of this as well. Okay. Thank you. Okay, looking for a second. Second. Okay. Been regularly moved and second that we adopt the uh, recommendation of the safety committee. Are there any questions or comments on the motion? Hearing none, may I have a roll call, please? Carson. Yes. Chapana. Yes. Kunzelman. Yes. Kirkland. Yes, ma'am. Okay, last item on the agenda is the Beaver County Christian School Road Closure. Um, there was a letter received from Ray Ann Barlow who was asking to close 40th Street from, do you want to maybe put the picture? Is that 40th Street from basically the railing, the white railing at, at that house or the silver railing up to not all the way to 6th Avenue, so somewhere in between here and there. Um, We talked about this this morning, actually, um, because even though the, the closure would allow the cars on 40th Street from 4th Avenue to go into their homes or their driveways, if anyone else would be coming up the street, they wouldn't be able to turn around. Anyone coming down 6th Avenue would not be able to go through or turn around as well. Um, I did not have time today to ask her why they maybe weren't using the grassy area, um, but right now the safety committee uh, is recommending that this not be granted. It's for, um, daily recess from 11:15 to 1 15. so they are using the grassy area but they put <coughs> the ball there so balls roll out into the street so it's just an idea to try to keep that and then we hope to in two weeks i hope you're looking at plans for a gymnasium on the back parking lot and that's an area where we have um some portable basketball hoops and some uh, four square things. So the idea was to use that area. There's very little traffic that comes up around there. Um, it would be blocked off with, with cones, could be moved you know, easily if there was somebody that needed to get through there. Um, but I understand what you're saying too. It's a public thoroughfare and you know we would be asking to do that off you know every day so mm-hmm. do you have a monitor there somebody yes there yeah monitor? yeah, yes. there, yeah there are adults out there so that it's it wouldn't be like kids just playing with no supervision <coughs> or there wouldn't be somebody there to watch yeah. and see if traffic is coming but i my recommendation would be that uh council follow the wishes of the safety committee so I'm asking, so they, I guess, are using the grass. It's just that, so it's not for them to actually be playing in the street. It, it's it's a combination. Of both. Yeah. The older kids play on the parking lot pavement in the back. They like to play basketball. You can't really <coughs> play basketball in the grass. Mm-hmm. And four square, they like to play that. And, be, and because of the construction, that area isn't going to be usable for, for them. Um, and this, this would only be 
on days when it's suitable to be outside. Once we get that gym up, most of the time the kids are going to be playing in the gym. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but mm. I don't think you should set the pre precedent of going against the safety committee. So I'm looking for a second. Was there a? I don't think anything. There was, was a motion. Motion. I thought that no, was a motion. No, he was just question. explaining no. okay. a little further. All right. So what's council's? Wishes? I have a question about it. <clears throat> Is it possible for the safety committee to take a second look at it? Maybe they might change their mind if it's explained the way you just explained it. I don't. Want, I really wouldn't see no problem as long as the homeowners can get to their properties. If there's someone there to monitor the openings, you know, the, the roadways, then I can't see where you can move the kids out of the way until everything is back in order. I would just probably add that we follow the direction of the council. If that's what council would like us to do, we, we can. There's, you brought some facts up that we weren't aware of, but that we discussed. So mm -hmm. I have no personal problem of reevaluating, taking another look at that, and convening again. Mm -hmm. Can't guarantee what the answer is going to be again, but well, I think we could probably take another look at I that. Would, yeah, I would just be a little bit more satisfied, giving them the benefit of the doubt of the area that they're in. And their youth, so I'm, I mean, uh, I think it's worth looking at a second time if it don't harm any residents. That's just my opinion. The final council's wishes, you tell us. All right, so is that a motion, Chuck? To I would like to make that a motion for them to look at okay, it a second time. So we have time. a motion on the floor that we bounce this back to the safety <coughs> committee for further review. Do I have a second on that? I'll second it. Second. Okay. Motion on the floor with a second. Questions or comments on the motion? None. May I have roll call, please? Carson. Just want to explain that I'm seconding the second look. When it comes to the actual vote, I will abstain. But having a second look, I think, is appropriate. Thank you. So, yes. I think, just to say something to that, if it was explained to them like you just explained to us, or someone would explain to them like you just explained to us, uh, I think they might reconsider. <coughs> that's my argument, or that's my thought. Okay. Thank you. Continue with the vote, please. Geppetto. Yes. Kunzelman. Yes. Kirkland. Yes. <coughs> the motion carries that we bounce this back to the safety committee for a further review. Thank you. Thank Next you. item. This is still, do you have a report? Nothing to report. Okay. Department reports. Mr. Carson. Uh, we have our uh, newly appointed fire chief and head of code here. I'm delighted. So he's only been head of code for <laughs> two days. Uh, so I don't. I'm getting closer. Yeah. To that. I, don't, I don't expect an extensive code report there, but. You have already tore down six houses yeah. <laughs> overnight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. The uh, February fire report, um, <clears throat> fire department responded to 110 calls, 10 of which were structure fires, $2,000 fire loss, uh, total training <clears throat> hours, 290, total insurance billing revenue, $3,404 and 25 cents. <clears throat> Uh, the training report, a um, couple, I, I attended a class in Philadelphia at the Philadelphia Fire Academy on February 7th and 8th. This was a fire dynamics class. Basically, it's the science of how fires burn and, and why they burn the way they do. It was a very good class. It was put on by Philadelphia Fire Department and uh, Underwriters Laboratory, who, who does a lot of this um, scientific studies, um, learned a lot from that. Uh, the other trains are listed. Um, the code uh, report, uh, it, I'm just looking at this um, inquiries. Uh, there was 198 site plan reviews to one hearing. Uh, Hearing violations to total fees, uh, MDIA fees for the month was $3,810. Total fees for this year, $4,399. Uh, 
96 inspections were conducted, one demolition order, three abandoned vehicles were tagged, one uh, uninhabitable posting, 22 occupancy permits for residential and five for commercial, 15 dye tests, 34 rental inspections and two hearings for rental inspections. Um, fees for this year, total fees, $9,175. So in general, that, that's the report. Um, I, I, I will tell you, I wasn't here at the meeting. I apologize, I got stuck in Cranberry when you guys um, voted my faith here. But uh, first off, I, I do appreciate you having confidence in me to do this. I, I really look forward to hopefully making a difference in the town. Um, there's a lot to do. Uh, I, I'm learning right now. Uh, I, the, the first approach to this is basically to learn how that office is run, what, what needs done. Um, I, I have some priorities that I think are priorities and I, I wanna you know, meet with city manager and council uh, regularly to make sure that we are on the same page, the expectations are there, but um, a few of my, my main concerns is one, um, starting to clean up the, the rubbish and trash that's in, in this town. Uh, I'm appalled by what I've seen just, just in my own neighborhood, you know, it's, uh, it, it's just, <clears throat> some areas look like third world countries, literally, and uh, to me, that's gonna be top priority is in getting this cleaned up. Um, it's not gonna be easy, but um, we have to do something. We, we have to change this. We can't just let this keep going the way it's going. It's it, it just, yeah, terrible. Um, abandoned vehicles are another thing. I, I met with the police chief today. We had some discussion at council or at the staff meeting, but I met for an hour with the police chief on uh, developing some policy, a written policy, and how we're going to address the abandoned vehicles. That's another big problem in the city. Um, everywhere you look, there's abandoned vehicles, so, so that's another thing that needs to get cleaned up. And, and finally, the third thing that I really have on the agenda is is repository structures and property um, just like this gentleman or, or who whoever is buying you know we, we need more of this mm -hmm. um, we, we need to research all the properties that are on repository we, we need to figure out you know if, if we need to advertise somehow market these properties so, so we can get them back on the tax rolls and get somebody taking care of, care of them other than the city yeah. having having to deal with these properties so and, and what makes it so difficult is we, we have these blighted structures and properties throughout the entire city and, and we're trying to make mrs smith clean her property up when across the street we have a house that's been falling down for 15 years yep. you know it's kind of hard to cite her when we have this problem that's been there for 15, 20 years. So we, we need to come up with some, you know, some ways to address this. Uh, I, I plan on meeting with our, our magistrate to how we can aggressively go after the people that don't want to comply. And, and I also would like to meet with the county and, and those that are responsible for demolition. I understand there's some issues with the person in charge now, but um, I, I think we're being unfairly uh, treated when it comes to the number of buildings we're getting demolished. So uh, I, I, I would like to really sit down and meet with these people and, and try to come to some common grounds as to how we can handle the, the, the number one, the citations and the demolitions that, so we can try to clean up uh, the problem. There, there are also the, the stuff that Bethany's working on, um, some grant work, CDCs, uh, you know, so hopefully we can all come together and, and make a difference. Uh, yep. I, I said from the beginning, it's not going to happen overnight. This problem didn't happen overnight. This problem ha has been an ongoing problem for many years. So we'll start chipping away <coughs> at it and, um, you know, we're going to hit we're going to hit roadblocks we're going to hit 
you know, but, but we have to work through it. And I just want to work through it as a group. I, I want to make sure that all of our expectations are the same so we achieve one common goal. I, I, that's, that was the only way I was going to take this job is if we were all working on the same page. I, I don't want to have, you know, six different ways that we should be doing this. We need to be <coughs> have, have one way to accomplish it. I look forward to working with you, Shannon, because I know throughout the whole process, it's it's <clears throat> going to be a lot of this is going to be bounced off you, or you're you know ha having have you assist us with this. But um, we got a challenge. We we got a large challenge ahead of us, and hopefully, like I said, I keep saying we have to make a difference because if we don't, we're we're in bad shape. We're we're, we're the city's just going to continue to decline. I have one question. Yes, sir. Mount Washington's cleaned up. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're trying to clean it up. I appreciate what they're doing. Um, a lot of the residents that we have here in Beer Falls, including some of our empty stores, fronts, are they basically people that live out of state that we can't get in touch with to do what you're asking? Well, I, a lot of the properties are, and I, I can't sit here and tell you how many, but Obviously, that is a big problem. Yeah. We have absentee landlords everywhere. Right. Uh, people in California, yeah, own property, and they don't care what's happening here. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, that they, was my concern. Yeah. How do we, how do, well, I guess Shannon would probably can find out how do we handle that type of situation mm -hmm. if you can't contact them or they don't answer. A, I don't know, have an answer right what, now. What do we do? Well, there are mechanisms, but first you have to target. The area and you mm -hmm. have to target the property we've had that happen and I've done equity suits for the city where you just go to the Court of Common Pleas and there's steps that you have to take in <coughs> order to try to locate them mm -hmm. try to service them with the process of the lawsuit if you don't you go back to the court you ask for special service mm -hmm. the problem with that to be honest it's cost right. because again it's the city expending monies to do that yeah. Whether it's the legal cost, the, you know, the, the filing fees, um, and you're chasing after, you know, something. Right. So, them. you know, the code office historically has been very good about targeting which properties we need to do that for, mm -hmm. as opposed to ones that we don't. But yes, in all communities in the county, there are a lot of properties. <coughs> it's hard to locate the owners. Thank you. As a follow-up, too. From my report i'm sorry i did not report that we did have a hearing at the courthouse this past month and mark was there um and i'm happy to report that um without saying any names council pretty much could guess the property i'm talking about where we had a ton of abandoned vehicles that have now been all removed and the property owners secured legal counsel we worked out an agreement um, at a summary appeal and they agreed to pay the costs and fines associated with um, what they caused. And it was $700 that they're paying the city for mm -hmm. basically what they put the city through, but the property is cleaned up. Nice. And there's a plan in place for them to continue cleaning it. But from the photos we saw, it looked 100% better. It, it is definitely better. The, the one area to the, on the west side of the structure is clean but the back of the structure and to the east side is still so is it is the whole property or is it is the property divided so that one property in question is all cleaned up but then there's another property next to it correct they were still working on it and we gave them some time to continue that's that fine as a part of the agreement i, I noticed the huge difference right. and there is a right. huge difference right. right it's just i didn't want it to stall out when it was so close. as a part of the agreement they still have to continue to do more cleaning right and they also made application to come before the zoning hearing board um which is what we asked them to do yeah so they're moving on it but Good. i did want to report that so thank, thank you. you for the reminder that's all i have i just want to say mark's speech is the whole reason that I'm so delighted to uh, be able to have him in the position that he's in. I believe he can and will make a difference. Thank you. Chief so if you keep the same level of excellence you have set for the fire department, 
code can only go up from here. So we have the confidence. That's the hope. I hope yeah, we maybe. can move forward and clean the shitholes up. I hate to say it that way, but that's where it is. That's what it is. Yeah. That's what it Did is. you get that on tape? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mr. Carson, anything further? Nothing. Mr. Chavetta. <clears throat> I had a meeting with the uh, Recreation Board last Thursday or Wednesday. Uh, group people, there's about eight of them were there, and they're signing up for the softball, <coughs> basketball, and baseball, etc. And the uh, next meeting will be the 25th of March, and uh, they're good people. They're going to do the job. That's about it. Okay, thank you. Mr. Jones. I believe everybody has a copy of my monthly report for February. The only thing we've identified, I don't know if I'm taking Bethany's part of her report, but March 16th at the library from noon to 4, we're going to be holding a, a public input session, charrette, in regards to the ongoing work we're going to work with Kovan Design in regards to redesigning that library park area. <coughs> so we're real excited about that because we got a lot of great momentum going there. We have some uh, a, some number of people going to be attending this from the county as well. And we're going to be looking to submit an application for a grant to uh, DCNR. And it uh, uh, looks really good for us at this application. Hopefully you receive the funding to redo that part. That's all I have. Okay. <coughs> No, I didn't. Mrs. Durish. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay. Mr. Kirkland. Uh, I think we're in pretty good shape. Uh, I have no problems with my two guys. Uh, I do <coughs> just a little note from our engineer. They're the one, they were just saying that they've been working on the 37th Street ball field to rehab it. And I guess that's falling under the CDBG program. That's that's all I have. That's it. Okay, thank you. Chief DeLuca. The total calls for service for February was 1,165. Parking tickets issued were 273. Police issued was one. Total parking money was $1,780.03. And total citations issued by the police were 271. That's all Thank I you. Have, sir. Uh, Mrs. Williams. Um, in the last couple of weeks, we've kicked off two of the grants that the CDC received. Um, and so the um, CZB grant came in where they hired a consultant to help them build a strategy for a community land trust or land bank style. Um, program for the Community Development Corporation. Uh, so that's launched and they're meeting with him regularly and he's coming into town in a couple of weeks and we'll be meeting with city staff and other folks to get a sense of what needs to happen here in the city. Um, so we're looking forward to more of those properties getting sold and getting turned over to taxpaying citizens. Um, we also kicked off the Heart and Soul program which is a social, social fabric kind of uh, strengthening program and uh, we'll be launching meetings on that soon, getting our team in place for that. So. Um, we've had our first meeting uh, launching the program and we'll be meeting with our uh, coach for that program over the next few weeks and getting us really set up for that. So we'll have community events coming out of that, community programs that people can get involved with and so we're really excited about what that'll do for us as well. Um, and then I just want to mention we have two groundbreakings in the next week for two new buildings being built in Beaver Falls, which is great. So um, you guys already voted on uh, the one with the Bicelli development on March 20th at 4 p.m. Uh, really excited about that building going up right next to Orem's. And then uh, BCCS is breaking ground on the 19th for their gym, which is really exciting. So it's not every day we get to celebrate having two buildings go up in Beaver Falls, so might as well do it while we have it. Bethany, you want to touch a little bit on the Geneva project as well, progress they have as well? Uh, the prospectus? Well, that prospectus and yeah. even the work that they're doing with the South End. Oh, yeah, school. so South End of Campus. Um, that project has started. Uh, we've been looking forward to that for a little while now. Um, and so you can see fencing starting to go up down the hill um, and the construction of the patio entrance <coughs> to the um, track has started as well. So 
uh, it looks like they're making really good ground um, on that as well. And so, you know, and then also the other project that they're working on with the demolition of the church and p turning that into a, a parking lot. So hopefully get more students parking on campus and not on the streets on College Hill. Um, so that'll all kick off pretty soon here um, and hopefully be done by the time students get back in the fall. So that's also really exciting. So just lots of, lots of dirt moving in the city. Thank you. Mr. Carson, old or new business? Uh, old something that was done. I had uh, about 10 middle school boys go down and uh, haul some furniture uh, off the trail that had been dumped. And uh, I asked uh, Pat uh, if they could get to it you know, within a week or so. And uh, Pat got and his men got to it within hours of it uh, being uh, put out. Um, <coughs> But already a little piece of what you're talking about, getting at the, you know, that's that was yeah, horrific tr trash along the bike trail, which is one of the uh, best assets of the Same thing, we uh, asked Pat to take care of a property down on Fifth Avenue and his guys were there. Yeah. It was just full of trash and furniture that was dumped and the guys were there immediately cleaning it up. It, it, it was, yeah. Yep, so thanks so much, Pat. And then just a little further up, uh, uh, follow up comment to what Bethany was saying. Bethany, Mick, and I have worked extensively with the CDC and the, uh, the consultant CZB, but he's going to come. And you folks are invited to these things. It's not a closed off thing. If you have an interest in uh, seeing neighborhoods improve and looking at strategies for doing that, you're welcome to come and, and be uh, be a part of uh, these these uh, gatherings. So, yep. Mr. Tapetta. Nothing. Mr. Jones. Yeah, just briefly, uh, Paula and I and Bethany have been meeting with Geneva College and also <coughs> the fact of um, we're looking at kicking off the homecoming parade, uh, to bring it back to town here. So we're all excited about that. Uh, I believe the mayor's been notified. They asked him to be the grand marshal along with the president of the college. So, uh, so I think it's a great community event to have the college tie into downtown. So, okay, thank you. This is Doris. Yeah, thank you. Mr. Kirkland. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing more, sir. Yeah. Okay. Chief Stowe. Nothing. Okay. Chief DeLuca. Good. That. Bird on <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bresnai. Oh. This is Williams. Yes, can I, I make one comment out of order here? But Pat does such a wonderful job with his men. And don't forget, we're shorthanded down there. We know we have to work shorthanded. But as the two gentlemen you heard about the cleanups or the things that these guys have to do change every day. Because if he has some program to do one thing, and they get a call from one of these gentlemen, they have to change. Yeah. Drop Jump this, right do that. But they do it appropriately. And that's what I like. I sit back and just poke my chest all the time because these three that I have do a wonderful job. Yep. And, and he needs to be done in gym. They do a wonderful job. And that's why I'm, I'm proud of my guys. I am. I'm proud of my guys. We are too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mrs. Yelinski, anything this evening? Yes. Mr. Ford. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I just want to go over a couple quick reminders here. We will continue our Humble Charter series. Um, there's going to be, looks like, three more meetings prior to election. The next one is going to be March 18th, 7 p.m. here. April 15th here at 7 p.m. Uh, possibly move to the wells if we can get it worked out. Last meeting will be Tuesday, April the 27th at 5 p.m. here. That will continue the Home Rule Charter um, to educate as to what Home Rule Charter is so that the citizens can get a working knowledge of it to go research it more so that when they walk into the polls on mm -hmm. April 28th that they see a question they have, you know no idea what it is so that gives them the chance to research Home Rule Charter to make an educated decision when they go into the polls. Uh, the second thing that I have um, 
I've been informed about the Easter egg hunt, which is going to be Saturday, April the 11th, 10 a.m. at 37th Street Park. This will be the third year in a row the rec board has been involved in it with the Beaver Falls Lions. Um, so I just need, again, the street department, which you know do, does a wonderful job every year to do the same work, the same magic that they always do. Fire department, um, if you can take the Easter Bunny. And please, if I could have one, and are you going to be the Easter Bunny again this year? Or no, no, I'm still not. Okay, so I'll need to get an Easter Bunny. Um, then donations can be dropped off here at the city building. Uh, Sue has graciously accepted collecting the donations again. So anybody wishing to donate, uh, please have those in before the week before. Uh, it looks like we're going to be meeting here in council chambers to ticket all the items. Before, so. so are the donations going to be monetary and or gifts or is she just taking money she's taking the do anybody wishing to bring a item a, a item may donate it here okay. um, if it's money then we'll work out the details with that but i would okay. prefer actual physical donations gifts you know okay. yes Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. as opposed to yeah. monetary. There's, yeah. There are some expenses that we do need, and like I said, people have been asking, and I've told them, I said, we need 3,000 little pieces of candy to put into each of those mm -hmm. Easter eggs, um, but the prizes are the, the main thing that we need okay. to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, any citizens' comments? Josh? Yeah. I'm uh, sorry, you have to say your name and where right. you are. My name's Josh Maddox. Um, I'm I live at 4711 Fifth Avenue. Um, I'm here in regards to the 37th Street ball fields. Um, I have, I'm the softball director. I'm also the vice chairman of the rec board. Um, I have contacted Vance's Landscape to come and help us get the ball fields ready for our spring season. Um, I have not found out when they are coming to do it. However, with the issues that we've had in the past with keeping the field from getting grass and everything on it. Um, Vances is well aware that we are working towards the grant to get the fields redone. But he has recommended to spray the fields to help keep it from getting grass on it. Um, I have contacted the school. The school said since the fields are leased to the city, it is up to the city to decide if that is something that they want to have done or not. Um, so I'm not sure who would be the one that would need it. If it's the whole city, if it's the whole council, or who I would need to get the approval from to give that to Vance's landscape. Do you have a cost estimate? I do not. I am waiting. Um, like I said, I contacted them. I'm waiting on the quote to have the bills done, which the rec board will pay, pay for. Um, and we would probably also pay for uh, the spraying of the fields, because I'm sure it would be all one quote. Um, so I don't know how much, and I'm not exactly sure when they're going to be able to do it yet. But like I said, they had asked me to get the approval from the right organization, and the school pushed me back to the city. So you, you do have a $6,500 budget, and mm -hmm. the rec board as a whole can make a decision as to how that fund is spent. So at your right. next rec board meeting, um, if you guys elect to spend up to the $6,500 just for the softball field, you're you know, welcome to do that. Right. So, um, so as far as council goes, that, that's why we have the rec board to let you guys decide how you wish to spend your budget. Okay, so the, so for, from the city standpoint, you have no problem with the fields being spread? Whatever, whatever whatever you guys decide is best for the softball program, okay. we will gladly go with your wishes. All right, and then the last thing with that was is he had recommended um, having signs up a day or two beforehand so the community knows that there's going to be, it's going to be sprayed. I don't know, I need to get back with him to see if that's something that he'll supply the signs or if that's something that we'll need to get put up. So, like I said, they asked me to come to whoever the organization was, and that's kind of what I'm doing. Okay. So, so yeah. That's all I got. Yeah, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that for that, you can contact Mr. Chapetta and he'll filter it, you know, through right. whatever. All right. Thank, Thank you. you, Josh. I hope they're not spraying any bias virus. Can What's that? I'll just yeah. the, the high school is right <coughs> the 
streets from those fields. So make sure that we know when that when they're right. Going yeah, to I'll give. Sprayed. Yeah, I have the contact information for the Christian school. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure I email them. Good. And let them know because I know that they use the ball fields. We use a the lot. fields, or even if they're out on the field, you know, on our side. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Any other citizens? Yes, yeah, so if you're going to stand, uh, state your name and address, please. What's his name? Josh. Mr. Ziegler, you okay, yes. um, So I'm here to give an update um, and also see if the council has any questions. But um, as of right now, me and Mr. Jones, uh, we had a meeting a couple weeks ago. Well, about three weeks ago, we had a meeting. and. Um, we will be moving forward uh, with sandblasting first. We went through uh, different stuff that needs to be done at the pool, and we, we decided that you know um, we're going to sandblast first. Um, this month, on the 18th, me, and Mr. Jones, and uh, Wendy Welkley will be having a meeting, uh, just pretty much to get on the same page with the project. Um, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to also see if anyone has any questions. <coughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you Tom. Mm -hmm. yeah, I just want to publicly state, um, you know, don't let anybody steal your thunder. You've done a remarkable job so far. You're almost at the end of the goal, so don't let anybody hold you back. All right, thank you. So, all right. Thank you. Um, any other citizens' comments this evening? No other comments. I'm looking for a motion to adjourn. I make a motion that we adjourn. Second. Okay, motion on the floor to adjourn. We have a roll call, please. Carson. Yes. Chapano. Yes. Councilman. Yes. Kirkland. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we adjourn.